Hi everyone and welcome back to your quick drop-in mental health hack for the day. So today I want to dedicate this to anyone that is experiencing some kind of loss, uh, trauma from loss, losing a loved one, um, reconciled, not reconciled. And this has come from three friends of mine today that I've been having conversations with that are grieving, have just experienced a loss, um, or are going through the grieving process. So there's been a lot coming up um, today and I just wanted to bring this forward for you that when you are feeling all the feels is there are a few different things. So the one is to feel, feel the feels as uncomfortable and as awful as they are. Oftentimes we want to distract ourselves. We want to go to the gym and start training obsessively. or We go to the pantry cupboard and start eating obsessively or Netflix binge. Those are kind of generally three that we just get lost and we get distracted and there's a time and place. Sure. But if we aren't sitting with the pain, with the grief and yes, absolutely. If you can, and if you're blessed enough to have people in your life that you can reach out to and just say, hey, I need eight minutes. There's a beautiful quote and I'll find it somewhere, but it really just says, you know, do you have friends in your life, a circle that you can say, I just need eight minutes because life can get so busy for so many people, right? And I know the volume of calls that I get and messages and I just can't get to all of them in a day and they just start getting pushed further down as more urgent messages come up and I don't even see them. And sometimes when it's personal things, like okay, I'll speak to this person later because I've got to get this out for a client or I'm in the middle of a workshop or a proposal. So I can't actually have the personal one-on-one -on -one conversations during the day. But when I get a message from someone that's in my close circle saying, P, do you have eight minutes? Yes, I will figure something out. Even if I have to say I do, but give me an hour. So that's what I would like to share as a health hack today is think of who in your life you can ask for eight minutes and who you can offer eight minutes to as well. So maybe if there's someone, you know, you're thinking, well, there's no one I can think of really. How about you just think of the list of who could I, who am I willing to give my eight to? And, you know, maybe it's one person, maybe three See if you've got at least three people in your life that you can send this message to, uh, or you can forward, or you can tag them here and say, you know, just so that you know, if anything happens in your life and you need someone to reach out to, someone to speak to, and I know that sometimes you self-isolate, please send me a message saying, do you have eight minutes? And I'll give you those eight minutes of focused attention and whatever support it is that I can give you because we might not always have the time to speak for an hour and connect for an hour or two or more. But eight minutes tells me that you need me now or as soon as possible. And if you've got a group of your eight minutes, then you know that you are supported at some point. And that in itself can really support whatever you're going through mentally, emotionally, physically, psychologically, physi yeah, physiologically and psychologically. So Think of even just three people that you can send that to and say, and it doesn't mean it's an energy exchange or it doesn't mean it's a transaction rather that because I'm giving you eight, you've got to give me eight. It doesn't have to be that way because sometimes we fill different roles in different people's shoes. So where I might be so happy and honored to be able to give someone my eight, I might choose someone else in a different section or a different area in my life that I would call on. So we can have different people that are going to, that we know we can trust with our hearts, with our beings, that we feel safe in and with. And it doesn't have to be someone that you've known your whole life. It doesn't even have to be someone that you, know, you see on a regular basis, but it's someone that you know and trust that has got integrity, that you know will hold space for you in a safe, comforting, protective way and give you what you need. And remember that with your eight minutes, be very clear and let people know, look, I, I just need you for eight minutes just to listen to me. Or I need, and there goes the lights, or I need eight minutes for you to listen and just give me your point of view and your perspective. 
So I hope that this helps you navigate through sometimes when life is really, really hard. Who can you call? Who can you give your eight minutes to? And who can you ask for eight minutes undivided attention and support? Uh, let me know if this has helped. I came across this. I don't even remember where, but if I find it, I will mention it below. And um, I hope that this helps. And remember to tag someone that this could be a contribution for and support them in their life and living. Have a beautiful day, evening, whenever you're watching this. Thanks for being here.